Yo, how's it going guys and welcome back to another video on the channel. In today's video we are going to be taking a look at Team of the Group Stage, Diogo Jota. This is also pretty much a review for the ones to watch Diogo Jota. I'm going to try out a new format for the review today. It'll be a bit shorter, a bit snappier and hopefully a bit better for you guys to watch. If you enjoy the changes, smash like down below, subscribe for a lot more FIFA 21 content. If there's anything you would like to see changed, let me know in the comments. I love your guys' feedback. And with that, let's not waste any more time. Let's get into this review because there are a lot of Team of the Group stage cards which I would like to get through. And today we are starting off with the Liverpool man who seemed like he would never get a special card. The Stiogo Jota card though, 83 rated, 86 pace, 81 shooting, 76 passing, 87 dribbling, 56 defending and 80 physical. He's 4 star skill moves, 5 star weak foot, high, high work rates. Costs around 150, 160 thousand coins depending on which um, console you are on. In-game stats are these guys and one of the changes with this new style of video is I'm just going to show you the in-game stats. They are absolutely uh, really well balanced to be honest. Nothing too crazy in certain areas but dribbling stats are really really nice. His trait, solid, tra solid player trait and a speed dribbler trait and this is the team we used him in. I'm just going to keep the intro nice and short guys. If you want to take a look at his stats you can take a look. Uh, just pause the video but this is the team we used him in. We played a 4 one 2 one 2 First 45 minutes I used him as a cam, realised he wasn't a very good cam so we moved him up to striker and he performed, well you'll find out, next to Cristiano Ronaldo, who else but to pair him with than his Portuguese teammate and let's just get into those highlights, let's get into those highlights on the next gen console with Diogo Jota, the team of the group stage card and he was an interesting one, you see in this position there he was picking the ball up and he's playing as a cam for that pass. Now he's almost at that. He, he's pretty much at the striker position, and straight away he gets the assist to Cristiano Ronaldo. And we'll start off with the pros for this card. Has to be the acceleration. Acceleration on the card, very nice. When you come up against the likes of Varane, Joe Gomez, you need his acceleration to be high. But we'll talk about why he isn't able to get away from defenders in the cons, and that is due to his sprint speed. Five star weak foot. I think it's really important this year. I said at the start it wasn't as important as it was in previous years, but this time. 5 star weak foot, having that I've used Del Piero far too often to realise that the 5 star weak foot just has that element of surprise and luckily Diogo Jota has that. Here is a prime example where the sprint speed is not good enough though. 4 star skill moves, very nice lacroquetas, berber spins, can do everything really nicely. His dribbling is really nice, his ball control is really good. It keeps the ball very close to his body and he has that nice low centre of gravity. Aggression, very aggressive player in the, at in the attack. Wants to win the ball back just like Liverpool players mostly are when they try and win the ball back. And his movement, guys, his movement was top class. I think that playing him in that striker position really allowed him to make really nice movements in between the centre-backs. That's probably where I found him the most. Making that run in between them was almost like a straight line right down the middle. Play the ball through to Diogo Jota. Sometimes he would go caught up, but most of the time he was able to get away and get his shot away. And haven't mentioned it on... Well, I haven't mentioned it so far... The finishing. The finishing was fantastic in certain occasions. He can pull out some unbelievable strikes. It's the easy ones that he struggles with. If I found it bizarre. It was so weird. The ones where you expect him to put it away, he struggled. The ones where you thought, there's no, they may as well just take the shot on, but there's no way this is going in. He would pull it out of nowhere. So that inconsistency leads me off to his first con of the card. Inconsistent. Really, really inconsistent in front of goal, which was a weird one. I thought he'd be clinical in front of goal but there are a few occasions where he was through on goal he missed the chance and it meant that in a game where I probably should have wrapped it up we hadn't and I think that when you have a striker you're paying 150,000 coins it's not the most but you want him to be able to finish most chances and for me it felt like a lot of them he did waste high high work rates playing him in that camp position he dropped really deep so if you want to play him as a camp I wouldn't recommend it if you want to play him as a wide player I think he is versatile to a degree, but I wouldn't play him as a wide player. Don't think he has that raw pace that you want for a winger on this game, like a Van Bergen that we did review earlier in the week. Passing wasn't very good. Again, at the camp position, maybe at the strike position, it's not so important. And the sprint speed, guys, you play him through, and he just gets caught up quite a lot of the time, especially against Rafael Varane. Rafael Varane, we get a, good, we get a nice pass there. That's a brilliant pass, and that's the finish. That is really nice from Diogo Jota and in them clutch moments he seemed to turn up. It was just in them moments where we were we were knocking on the door having loads of chances. 
Maybe it would take him two or three chances to put the ball in the back of the net, which I found was weird. Maybe it was just a gameplay for me, but I think that, yeah, he just was a little bit inconsistent. And also the crossing. Crossing for a card like Diogo Jota, um, yeah, he did really do too much. When you put him out wide, he can't really do too much. He can't really run away from the defenders, can't really cross the ball as well as you would want a winger to do. But this is where he's the best at. Striker running through, left foot. Unlucky with the finish, guys. What did I tell you? Very inconsistent finishing. But this game was the one for me that did impress me. And he actually will be staying in my team, guys. I think that's a really good representation of a player if they are staying in my team. Because I like to change my team a lot. We review a lot of cards on this. If there's one player that sticks out and actually makes me think, you know what, I'm going to keep him in the team. Diogo Jota was that. Look at that finish. Yes, he might miss chances like this one here. This chip shot. Not enough speed on the chip shot. Joe Gomez, slightly unlucky there with Jota not to get it over the line. But... I expect my strikers to be able to put that one away. His dribbling though meant that he was a creative um, player at that striker position. Setting up Ronaldo then, he doesn't finish. That's Cristiano Ronaldo can't put the ball in the back of the net, guys. But overall, three games, five goals, two assists was a really nice return. Scores a goal in the near 90th minute then. He goes absolute crazy, absolutely crazy. Scenes on the pitch. Three games, five goals, two assists. 150, 160,000 coins. I think it's a good price for this card. I would go pick him up. Go try him out. Hopefully you have his wants to watch card. You can test out what he is like. I think he's a really, really nice super sub as well for you guys to use. A cynical tackle by me in the background. But the end of these reviews, there will be no longer a end review screen. What do you guys think about that? Again, let me know in the comments. What I'm going to do is post the review to Instagram. So if you want to see a full list of the pros and cons, link to that can be found in the description to my Instagram. Make sure you go follow for more FIFA 21 content. But that is me done for now, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, smash like down below. Subscribe for a lot more FIFA 21 content. I'll see you all in the next one.